watch Captain Cat in the road. Well, you know, lives are so ladies and gentlemen. And chances of that will never change. Let's get ready. Well, I guess I could have taken the chances for yet another. Another Jerry Friday. Welcome, everybody. My name is Justin Robert Young. This is the only live stream where I can just talk and nobody will shut me up. Uh, so there we go. Here we are, folks. Welcome yet again. Thank you for joining me. Um, man, I'll tell you what. You know what we're going to talk about? Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. What are we going to talk about, Justin? Wait a minute. Here we go. One, two, three. What are we going to talk about? Thank you, Mel. Thank you, Mel. Mel's cueing us in. The big news today, uh, of course, is uh, Republican presidential hopeful Mitt Romney selecting Paul Ryan. He of the Paul Ryan budget, the uh, the uh, the man who, uh, according to cartoons, pushes uh, old women off cliffs. Um, he uh, he is going to be the man who will run with Mitt Romney after a circus of possible uh, yeah, possible picks, including I, I mean I thought one of them which came up this week. And we'll talk about it. Uh, would have been the biggest thing that ever happened in politics in my lifetime. So we um we will talk about that. Uh, but also I just want to point out to everybody that we are now moving into we are in double digits, clear double digits. To the iTunes chart held hostage by our book, The Diamond Club, by Patricia Harkins Bradley. Uh, it is still number six. It is still uh, continuing to do the uh, <laughs> the same kind of numbers. Uh, and, you know, well, I guess, you know, it's funny. I was down in the Mission District working on some Go Game stuff, and we had to scout some things, and we uh, went into the Borderlands bookstore, which is, um, you know, a really cool place. And, and we walk in, and we see all these books in a case, and it's all basically the New York Times bestseller. And um, it's all books that we are amongst on the iTunes charts, which is very funny. It's a very funny idea. To, to think that, that our shenanigans are, are in, you know, there is a legitimate list for which we are their honest company. Um, that's crazy. That's crazy pants, McGillicuddy. Uh, it's also kind of interesting to see on the back end, and we will have probably more interesting numbers for you um, in the coming weeks. Because what we're going to find out now is not necessarily how much this can sell, because it has sold already. Um, you know, it has already sold more than I think we thought it would by leaps and bounds. Um, we have demonstrated that our our little experiment worked. If we got something up there, would it be considered to be uh, you know a, a legitimate romance novel? Yes, yes. We have kind of proven that beyond uh, I think a reasonable doubt. In fact, we got maybe the best four-star review ever yesterday because I think, and me and Brian have consulted on this, and we believe it is genuine. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, the last four are all one stars. We're starting to get a little, uh, <laughs> a little angry. Okay, great book, but this is written by. And the only thing that makes me think it's fake is that it's like it's all a bunch of just random things, which makes me think that somebody just started up a fake account and typed in gibberish, and then wrote this review, which reads very much like a real review. This book was fun to read if you, that's letter U, want to read a book only about her sexcapades. I wish there were more of a story to her, like what she planned to do to get back at Roman or build her career. I can't even picture what she looks like, but I did enjoy the book for the most part. Which sounds like somebody who honestly enjoyed the book. Um... I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know whether or not it is real. It would be very interesting if it was. I would have a very, very fun time thinking that that person read it and and enjoyed it. Because I don't. I don't know. I mean, I think the one star reviews are very funny to read, um, but they are not the people for whom 
we are we were trying to 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 target i mean the idea was that people would read it and not see that big of a difference in a romance novel not people who would read it and and were disgusted by it and hated it i mean because like those people are going to happen because it is not good um but i don't take joy in it i don't necessarily think um you know it's like oh we got you good fuckers um you know so we'll see we'll see as we go forward uh it, it's very interesting but what we're going to find out this week and here's what's interesting not the high but the low and low not as in when it's in you know 400th place which will languish in davy jones locker for the rest of uh you know eternity but rather how low it can sell and still be in that top 10 that's what's interesting that's the threshold because if we are to say that getting into the top 10 helps continue to perpetuate sales what is the threshold to get in the top 10 that is uh you know to me what is most interesting to come and we will see that because we are dropping at a fairly steady clip we stabilized toward the end of the week um because of the of the press we got a ton of awesome press including press in italy and brazil which was really cool uh because i don't know why i i, I guess i have family in brazil so i was able to send my brazilian aunt the uh, a, a newspaper clipping on facebook which was fun um so uh yeah no we will we will see but what we're we gonna find out we're gonna find out this week what does it take what does it take to stay in the top 10 on iTunes. Um, the only other thing with with the Diamond Club, and we'll we'll talk about this later. But you know, we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do for Dragon Con. It's gonna be fun. Um, I'm leaning toward it being secret. Uh, I'm leaning toward it being um, Toward it being something that uh, we don't reveal exactly where it is until like the day of, so everybody will just get there. We'll give them a time, and then they'll go to do it. But there's, we're trying to figure out how to do it right. We want to do, we want to do something really awesome, and um, uh, we want to, you know, Funkarius says, and then like two people show up. Okay, let me just say this. Sweet parties at Dragon Con for fucking random McGirt. The the fucking random dude off the street who just fucking rolls in with a stack of fucking hundos and decides that he wants to throw it at a sweet party. That will get people. I will be walking around and someone will be like, oh, we're going up to a sweet party. Who's throwing it? Oh, it's my friend, Random McGirt. First name Random, last name McGirt. Um, I don't know, just throwing a sweet party. I'll go to that sweet party. That's what Dragon Con is. Dragon Con is always like, oh, where are we going? We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Oh, we're going to go to that thing, and then we're going to go to that panel. Then we're going to go to this thing. Then we're going to eat lunch, and then we're going to go to Random McGirt's Sweet Party. He's a really nice guy. His name's Random McGirt. Hi, everybody. It's me, Random McGirt. Ah, oh, Jesus. God damn it. Random McGirt, you're so annoying. I, I mean, you're here at my Sweet Party. I don't know why you don't like me. Well, because it was a Sweet Party, Random. <sighs> I fucking hate this guy. It is a sweet party. That's what would happen. I could hate somebody, and they're like, oh, they're throwing a sweet party. I go to the sweet party. So I don't think that we're going to have a problem getting people there. In fact, I think we might have a problem, on the uh, conversely, with it being too much of a thing and then us blowing our capacity of where we are. Because I don't think capacity is going to be all that high. I think it's going to be like 100 you know, people. But... It's hard. It's hard because, you know, we got this money late. We got this idea fairly late, and, uh, and the entirety of Atlanta is booked. Like, there are dogs that are booked. They are not for anything else. They're just, someone's like, well, I can't get a hotel room? Can I book a dog? I just want a dog to uh, roam around. <sighs> I'm really panicked. Can I book a dog? Just, I'll overpay. $500 down deposit on your dog. Just let him run around. I don't even need a leash. I'll pay another $400 for the leash. That's what I'm doing. I'm booking dogs now. I'm panicky Dragon Con booker guy. Um, so there. Uh, we'll figure it out. We're in the process of doing it. It's going to be super fun. If you can make it down, um, 
you know, if you can make it down, please do. Um, I think now would be a very, very good time for everybody to talk about um, for everybody to to talk about uh, ride shares. If you guys can figure out carpools, this is the cool time to do that. If it's a matter of getting a ticket, I mean, Sunday would be the day to do it. The thing that we're going to do is probably going to be off site, so you'll be able to um, you'll be able to go no matter what. You know, you're not going to need a ticket to Dragon Con to go to whatever we do. That's guaranteed. Guaranteed. Rothman Brothers style. Um, so there we go. That's that's the, the latest uh, on that, which is a, a shitty update because there's no details. <laughs> there won't be any details until we have details to give. But that's what it is. All right. Um, thought shots. Is it going to be on Sunday? I don't know. I don't know, but I'll tell you what I will look at right now is what I tweeted out yesterday, which is um, do 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 do. Let's see what the straw poll is for the T-shirts. Now, if you haven't seen these T-shirts, they are pretty fucking cool. Uh, Here's what happened. Yesterday, we were talking to Brian. Um, you know, I'll tell you what. Maybe we need to bring... Brian's actually here. Let's bring Brian in. Um, you want to know what? I'm going to go to... Brian's on the phone right now. But let's... Uh, do me a favor. I'm going to throw to a, 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 a song break, and I'll see if I can bring, bring Brian in. We'll talk about the t-shirts. All right? Here we go. Is that what they call it? Well, hitting the post is like when, so if it's like, if let's say we were starting a song, it'd be like, hey, what's going on with, uh, you know, we have, we have Brian, Brian Brushwood down at the uh, Amico gas station handing out stickers. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you get down there and you go over there. This is Tom Jones Stock, we're finding out a cat. And then like, like right with the music, that's all like hitting the post. And All is right. That, uh, is that like a, a sequencer, or, or or is that just your soundboard program? That's a soundboard, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, all right. So last night you were doing scam school, and we had talked previously about sinking some of the Diamond Club money into T-shirts. Right. Because people otherwise... really want T-shirts, but we really didn't want to put a down payment on that. Right. Well, because it's expensive. which we're kind of going to wind up doing anyway, but. At least there's right. guaranteed money at the end of it. Well, and we uh, uh, we <laughs> why is Rabbit Badger saying beer for breakfast? This is a uh, it's Mountain Dew. Diet Mountain Dew. Unless it's <clears throat> a new Heineken. <laughs> it's Bex. Bex okay. new sport, sporty Bex. First of all, like we uh, uh, we took a loss on the T-shirts last year, and we don't mind taking a loss. It's just that this year we're not in a financial position to either front the money or take a loss. Uh, and um, with that in mind. Uh, if you guys are cool with it, we wanted to use the Diamond Club money to front for T-shirts because, number one, that allows us to get offset printing, which means we could get a lot more of them. They're a lot, lot cheaper per unit. You could get much higher quality shirts. And we could have them physically there to give away or to sell, uh, you know, for 10 bucks a pop at the at, the, at Dragon Con, whereas any other, any other thing you'd have to do, a print-on-demand deal, which means we'd have to have some weird things where it's like, now remember to buy a shirt and wear it when you come to Dragon Con. Yeah. So I think we're going to do largely what we did last year in terms of having uh, having a big, big-ass pile of shirts at Dragon Con. We'll sell them there. Yeah. And then whatever we have left over, that goes up in, uh, you know, fire sale style, which... Last time, what do we we sold out the remaining shirts in, in like fifteen minutes? Fifteen minutes, not even a lie. Fifteen minutes. It was awesome. Uh, so we that gives us an opportunity, and that's the problem. Is like you know, it's not like the demand would theoretically be bigger, right? Especially coming off the Diamond Club thing, like well, especially because also remember these events is kind of a it's a community outreach. It's an audition for a bunch of people who are NSFW people but don't even know it yet, and yeah. so you know you're there. Uh, those are people who there would be no way to, for them to know online or, or in advance, right? Yeah. I mean, that's that's the trick. So we, we would like to do that, um, and we wanted to pick a design. We wanted it to be 
You ever notice how like uh, repeated events like South by Southwest, they do a good job with their design. If you look at every year, they've got a different take on the South by Southwest logo. Yeah. But it's always the same core thing. We wanted to do the same thing with the Diamond Club because it's, it's an awesome, iconic image that people uh, instantly like without even having any context for it. Yeah. Uh, and so we wanted something. It's just, a nerdy thing. Yeah, it's, a different, yeah, yeah, a like different the, take on it. Like, like HTML brackets, like. Yeah, like I think I had suggested uh, like a kind of a, a hand drawn like Juno style, uh, you know, 3D version of the brackets or something like that would be cute. But instead, we got uh, we got two really good takes well, on it. Yeah, well, here's so we all this discussion goes on yesterday. Yes. While Brian's like about to shoot Scam School, and and we had talked earlier in the day about talking to the t-shirt guy that helped us with the t-shirts last time, and just see, hey, listen, um, we have money now. <laughs> can we can we do T-shirts and last minute to boot? Because that's the other yeah, thing. Yeah, way more last expensive. minute. Uh, but luckily, I mean, this is this is a guy who I've known for years, and he said, uh, "Yeah, no, sure, just get it into you know." Today but it's got to be like today, immediate today, today. And so we were like, "Well, what if we just went to Diamond Club and said, congratulations, you've all been entered and accepted in the six-hour T-shirt design contest.'" Uh, and so that's what we did. So we went from. Uh, I think it was around 6 or 7 o'clock uh, Pacific time to midnight Pacific time, and we just had a bunch of people submit T-shirts, and uh, we came down to two. Yep. One was a uh, a diamond kind of slightly askew that was like uh, either spray paint or blood splattered, Yep. depending on, on how you want to read it. Or as Cowgirl Curtis so gen gingerly put it, Indeed. the menstruating diamond. The menstruating diamond. <laughs> Um, or it was what I think is a very cool, uh, drawing so much that like we would go off because like it, it is, is not the, the diamond would not be the central focus of the shirt because the drawing so fucking cool. <laughs> and it was a horse dragon, a horse faced dragon, a horse faced dragon, a horse faced dragon. dragon woman holding on to a diamond man. I like coming and, next week. And initially that was from T2T2 and T2T2 sends me this and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Also, can we put a diamond in it? Like, <laughs> he didn't even have a diamond no. in it. No, <laughs> and so he sent me back another one with it clutching a diamond. And isn't the diamond like this little thing? He's like, that's even better because it's like a fuck you. He's just like, ah, there's a diamond, asshole, there. What? <laughs> um, so apparently Thought Shots is the guy who did the uh, spray paint diamond. Awesome. And T2D2 uh, did the, the horse dragon. I put it up to straw pole. Uh, and, and let's actually put that again in... So the previous vote was at uh, uh, 229, 229 votes, and it looked like it was pretty strongly in, in favor of the Blood Diamond. Yeah, oh, that's a good one. The Blood Diamond. Right. That's good. Blood Diamond t-shirt. Yeah, I, that's that's almost enough to put it over the over the top. Uh, you know, so so we'll see. I think that it seems like that's probably the one that's going to go. I love the horse dragon though. The horse dragon is fucking like, it's it's very very cool. I I just don't know if like in terms of selling a very simple like like the diamond is like okay, it's simple. You don't need to know NSFW. You know, like you can wear it and it just looks like a cool internety sort of thing to have. Yeah. Uh, the horse dragon looks awesome. I would wear it, but, like, at the same time, it's not as simple of an idea. It's like, why do you have a dragon on your shirt? Oh, wait. Is that a horse? I think it may be a moth. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the big hair, the bushy teeth. Exactly. The scaled wings. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that moth. <laughs> <laughs> My producer, Tara Cates, is telling me it may, in fact, be a horse. <laughs> Wait, what is Josh Drummond sending over to us a picture of? Um, yeah, there so that's right it. There. That's yeah. that's the one. Uh, so yeah, click on that if you uh, want to see that. That's the horse dragon, and it looks legitimately fucking awesome. Like I really do like it. I would like to have a shirt of that, um, but at the same time, it's it's hard. I can understand if people look at that and are like, "Oh, well, that's not a diamond. I kind of want a diamond shirt." Right. Um, so there we go. Uh, what else do we want to think about for diet for? Oh, should we? Can we talk about the current plan for the party, or we want to hold off till that's all confirmed? Well, there's more stuff that even that I know that you don't know because it happened while you were sleeping. Um, so yeah, I mean, basically, I, I talked about it a little bit with them that like right now the plan is we don't 
have a firm plan, but we are working mm-hmm. vigorously on a firm plan. Um, Wheels are in motion. You know, I guess of the things that we do know, it will probably be a party one night. Super exclusive. I would like for it to be Saturday night, but don't. that's not set in stone. Um, and I like the idea of it being something that nobody quite knows where it is except for us until, like, day of. That's right. Because and we're trying to see if we can get special, super secret, special, yeah. exclusive appearances. Um, yeah, I, I, it would be very, very nice to do it. Um, you know, some venues, uh, one of the venues we are looking at, which I think might probably be the way we go, uh, I found out today, is not near uh, places where people would complain about noise. Oh really? Yeah. So we are we're we're more apt, especially if we don't plug in anything, mm-hmm. like to do like an an acoustic kind of thing. Um. So people are saying, I mean, like Saturday, and also the the one thing I think we're definitely sure about is that it's not going to be affiliated with Dragon Con for oh, sure. Yeah. No, no, no. This will be so you are so you're like if you're local, just to Georgia, then come on down, um, yeah, and party like a clown. You know how clowns party with meth and regret <laughs> and anger and anger and the need for fulfillment. Party like a clown. I got divorced when I was eight. Ouch. Clowns are fucked up people. They really are. I'm breaking Brian. <laughs> fucking, fucking corny trash. <laughs> I got my 10-year AA chip, and I'm 18. <laughs> Start rapping. Yeah. Yeah, motherfucker. Real-life clown shit. Not no, this ain't a movie, dog. <laughs> my nah, man, I'm a real-ass clown. <laughs> my parents disowned me. <laughs> Yo, I lived with real wolves in Michigan for a year. I woke up next to human shit. <laughs> I sleep on a train, and it ain't on purpose. <laughs> I, they, they place us in physical cages on the road. <laughs> Yo, one time I was gang-banged by four bearded ladies. They called Real it ass it. clown shit. What? <laughs> they called it initiation. They said it happened to all of us, but it didn't. <laughs> oh, Just shit. me. Gathering of the Juggalos is this weekend. Oh, fuck. I would actually fucking really. Oh, man. I would. I would kind of love to go to Gathering of the Juggalos when we can. I hope that we get big enough that we can get booked to Gathering of the Juggalos. Oh Jesus, that would be amazing. That would be hilariously terrifying. It yeah. would be the best. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, so party. We don't know. Probably Saturday. Definitely off site. Uh, be prepared. Uh, like the Lion King song. Um, also, be prepared. wait, is that in, is that a Be line? prepared! Is that like the Forgotten Lion King song? It's certainly not the most famous. Yeah, see, I don't even remember it. It's like, Can You Feel the Love Tonight? That, like, Circle uh, of Life, Hakuna Matata. And Hygiene Counts. Hygiene Counts? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Be Prepared, Hygiene Counts. So, <laughs> make sure to... Yeah, that was the bad guy. Story. It was the bad, Be Prepared mm. was the bad guy song. No. Oh. So nobody fucking likes that one. See, but that's a Boy Scout motto. Be prepared. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, definitely. Be prepared to, I don't know. I, I want to tie it back to the cloud. So I know, <laughs> I know. <clears throat> uh, all right, so the other thing that I talked about briefly was um, the uh, just the Diamond Club. And the, the big thing that I think we're going to see this week, the very interesting thing that we're going to see this week, uh, numbers-wise, is going to be how oh, low? Are we still number number six. Uh, we are still number six. Wow. Um, <clears throat> is we are going to see how low we can sell and still be in the top ten. Yeah. Uh, I mean, unless we start to plateau. Have you looked to see if we're yeah. starting to plateau? We plateaued between Wednesday and Thursday when we got a bunch of press, like when we got like the Gizmodo thing. Right. We uh, even we upticked up cut hair. Awesome. And then we dived another two hundred dollars. Yeah, it's okay. For Friday. Um, so, you know, we'll see. But, I mean, like, that, I think we're going to continue to kind of drop a little bit. 
uh, you know, no, has we're, been we're number seven now. Oh, we just today, just now that breaking I, news. I, I just because here I'll tell Special you what. Special alerts. I just I had it open. Oh, I guess it, I may, it looks like it updates on the mobile first when breaking stories break. No. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, there we seven. go. Emily Griffin, fucking she, Emily's like, where tell me how my ass tastes. She's like, where we belong is above that hoax, that erotic stunt shit. novel. That erotic stunt novel. Evil Knievel style. <laughs> yeah, that's not caught me. I was 10, uh, 10 minutes ago, six. So, I mean, like, we're going to fall out of the top 10 this week. I think that's definitely what's going to happen. Um, do we do we talk about what our, fa- like, our single favorite review out of all I did. I read that. Uh, I, I definitely I read I read that one. It's uh, it's the it's the justification. The only the only thing that makes me think it might be fake is the username because the username definitely seems like somebody made a fake account and then just typed gibberish. Yeah, but Asians do that all the time. Type gibberish or they have yeah. gibberish names. <laughs> yeah, because like uh, because like it doesn't uh, they don't have the characters. Oh, wait, but then then why would it show up in the American? I don't, I don't know. Fucking crafty Asians, <clears throat> man. Uh, no, the one, the other thing I did say was, uh, this is now the time, and maybe we figure out something in, like, uh, the, our forums, like the BBPDF forums, yeah. rideshare. Let's talk rideshare. If you want to come down, you want to figure out, make a couple rooms super flop house, then make a couple rooms super flop house. Um, you know, but now is the time to start talking about that because it's going down and <clears throat> you guys help pay for the fucking party. So, uh... That will definitely be there. And then also NSFW show. You know, you're gonna probably going to have to buy a day pass for it because uh, it is part of Dragon Con. Right. Um, Man, but we wanted we, – we were like maybe 15 seats shy of a complete standing room only event last year. And I would love for us to fucking actually have people standing in the back. I do – I think we're going to – I think I'm probably always uh, – Far more naturally uh, overestimating of our success with things right. uh, than, than Brian is. I think that we're we're gonna go over capacity. We're gonna go mm-hmm. spill room uh, for this one because, like, I think I don't know. It's gonna be a fun show. It's why not? Really good. Mm-hmm. Eka Proxy says she won't be there. Why? Not, why the hell not? Yeah, I don't know, man. It's Sunday. I thought I thought you were DC till you died. Um, <laughs> and if you're dead, then that would explain why you're not coming. Yes. <laughs> It would also be very curious while you're typing. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Echo, we can we can totally figure it out. I mean, I, I you're if you're in Atlanta, um, I'll tell you. Chris Ronan says the Diamond Party bus. We, we had actually we talked about that briefly. Among last among night. the ideas was a rolling party. Hold on, come on, ladies man. and gentlemen, Brett the Amtrak around the bill. <clears throat> Bright eyed and bushy tailed. Hell yeah. yeah. <clears throat> or the opposite of that. And we got it. I like the way that we're all media savvy enough that we sort of immediately fall into uh, late '90s horror poster uh, mode. Yeah, where it's like we look like the, we look like. What would be the name of the the scaring? The scaring? <laughs> yeah, the scaring. It came <laughs> in my eye. It came <laughs> hard. Uh, no, we talked about the party bus. <laughs> yeah, but 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 the problem is like. From a practical standpoint, boy, man, that would be a picture of that shit. Like, they've got when 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 we went to to watch The Hangover with David Copperfield, and we had to, to scam a limo really fast. Yeah, we just ran out and. Oh, I'm first sorry. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I dropped big, some names. Gigantic they dropped names. Some names. Just dropped names. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. It was a hang, It was on the tip of my yeah. tongue, and it yeah. just went sort of right ahead. down there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but like we so you and Dave were trying to find a limo DC yeah that's the other the other so DC weird of calling my life. Him Dave but that's really what he likes you to call yeah him. yeah <laughs> I mean like only friends like do but like you know all right so anyway so but but like we you and Davey boy me me and DC we uh, uh he was like uh, actually and this is all, I'm I'm not even this is not even Dave this is Kenner you know telling yeah. me it's like he's yeah. like well you got to get there fast though yeah. are you gonna be able to do it and then we're like don't worry about it. So it's me and Dan Martin and Nate Staniforth and, and CJ and so on. And so we just run out and we're, you know, we just throw $100 at the first limo, like take us five blocks. And then yeah. the limo that we happened to get in was a part was a party bus. We get in and there's a fucking stripper pole yeah. right there. And all the seats are in. And then, you know, they're playing rap music videos and shit as we're riding over. And I was like, if we, if we could get that kind of thing and just do this rolling one in, one out where it's like, it stops every ten minutes uh, in uh, 
and picks lets people in and out of the party. Yeah, but then we're in a position where we gotta kind of we gotta circulate, so we gotta kick people out, you know, and new people gotta come in, and it's just gonna be like a hot, hot mess. Yeah, just like a hot. We're all drinking body heat, natty ice. Yeah. Um. Oh, by the way, people are saying they miss Odakta. Uh, I don't. Oh, fucker. Hit the bricks, fucko. You like that? Uh, no, I love Owen. No, uh, Owen's, Owen's, Owen's my Owen's black brother. Owen's doing great, actually. Uh, we talked recently about some of the projects he's working on. He's got some ambi- ambitious shit, man. Always. He's ready. He's all about them dollars, which means it's about not farting around on the internet, because not too many dollars on the internet. <laughs> it is a lot of fun, though. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, all right, so... Yeah, we talked about the bus. The bus is just kind of problematic for a couple ideas. And also, like, you know, what I was saying about, like, they're like, oh, well, if you fucking wait until the day of to tell people where it is, like, two people are going to show up. Oh, no. And I'm like, and I'm like, dude, <laughs> like, fucking random McGirt could be having a fucking party, a sweet party, and I'm going to the sweet party. If yeah. we're, me, fucking. I'm not. Fuck random McGirt. <laughs> no, he's a fuck. well, he's a really that annoying guy, cunt. That he's a big, a fat cunt. Did you hear what you and Doug got into that one time? <laughs> yeah, Doug and random? Dude. Dude, they call, them, they call themselves fucking the random Doug combination, <laughs> which is a shitty name they because did, they're shitty people. But then random, ah, oh, God, random, such a jerk. I can't believe, just kick Dude, Doug I can't right believe you're saying, look, I understand you're team Doug, but, you know, let's not be harsh on random. I'm a, I'm a random sympathizer. Well, all right, here's the thing. I'm sure he's a nice guy most of the time, but I'm not showing up at his party if he tells me the day of. Anyway, okay. Well, here's so, my idea, and I, we haven't talked about this. Uh, I don't know how if any, if somebody wants to own this or not, but I'm thinking like fifty golden tickets, like physical printed <laughs> fucking awesome passes that just like you know you're cordially invited and and has like an emblazoned <laughs> DC logo on there, and then uh, or, or just some just some shit to, to you know. And we and we put them when we put them in natty ice boxes in like that one <laughs> shitty fucking convenience store next to the Sheridan. And, say, and, then, and, then, and, and then we buy that. all of them because that's what we do every time is we buy that fucking one convenience store out of Keystone Lights. Oh my god, what do we do? We buy like fucking hundred and twenty dollars worth of Keystone Lights, which is by the way eight hundred Keystone Lights. <laughs> We loaded up. We loaded up the physical dolly from the show, and we, we walked out with a hand truck of a stack of goddamn natty ice. It was I crazy. do think that we we should actually have an intern uh, this year that is just the fucking guy with the beer case. That's for oh, me and you. just just what's just all wrong. He's walking rolls, behind us at all times. Behind. Internship applications are now open for beer boy or oh girl or girl. Equal opportunity. What? Oh, the fake one, the scam one. Rabbit Badger says Book TV just tweeted that they removed the Diamond Club from iTunes. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, is that so? That was the the Fancy Ladies Club one. I don't know. Let's. I'm sure. I'm gonna look up a uh, books books thing. Uh. So yeah, no, we would like to have an intern. With the case of beer, but you don't um, you don't like the idea of physical passes? I guess I mean to, they would essentially be advertisements, but they wouldn't feel like advertisements. They'd feel like exclusive, you know, like as, if it said like secret gathering of. Like, I actually the, had an idea that I don't want to say out loud because once it's said, it's very hard for us to walk back and not look like assholes. Okay. Um, but I'm gonna say it anyway. No, like, I won't. everyone gets a thousand dollars. Yes. <laughs> um. Yeah. So strippers? No. I don't know. Unless we go to... Because there actually is a strip club called the Diamond Club in Atlanta. Oh, shit. No. Uh, which I don't think we're going to go to. No, but, no, no, but, no, no, you know, no. That would be... That would radiate awkward all over. Like, the one thing... Can How, you imagine? imagine if we just rolled in in cosplay. Just fucking, like, eight Doctor Who's and fucking, like, a fucking full flight suit fucking, like, uh, X-Wing fighter pilot. And we're By just, the way, and we're just rolling in like fucking like gangster fucking rap star deep with like oh, fucking shit. like with like the hundred dollar bill stack, and we're just yeah. fucking. <laughs> if we wanted to blow, you know, fucking Merritt had the idea of fucking uh, using a large part of that money to buy because also going on that weekend is a couple big SEC football games. Oh, yeah, no, he said we should get one of those Skybox suites. We should get a suite at we the game. We should go to the fucking big game, rent the big-ass suite, 
and everyone ignored the sports ball thing happening downstairs and just have like a big banner that says like taking back Atlanta for geeks. <laughs> that we're just all costumed up. Yeah, and it's just all cosplay. It's all fucking just like a wild fucking freak nasty party. <laughs> ben Franklin is working on financials as we speak. Uh, uh, S. Spixen says no beer at the NCAA. No, no. The answer is no to that. They have a lot of beer. <laughs> Uh, Maybe no beer on the field is what he meant. Maybe he meant we can't <laughs> have our players. party on the field, or the players aren't allowed to drink while they're actually. It would be really funny if, like, like all of a sudden, like we get an email from like Les Miles, head coach of the LSU football team, and he's like, you know, I think what you boys are doing is very funny. I would like to invite all of your friends <laughs> onto the field for our home or for our opener in Atlanta, Georgia. Please I'm Les Miles. Extra beer for the players. Yes. <laughs> It really upsets them. I am such a fan of impressions in which the last line is when they announce their own name. <laughs> their own name, is, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Cox. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you fucking noticed that, but that's every impression I do. <laughs> no, I love it. I love every impression I do has the person yelling their name. Fucking awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so uh, I bought the Diamond Club eight times. <laughs> I wrote a review under my iTunes username. Jimmy Cox 6969 <laughs> and said, There's only one thing Jimmy Cox loves more than hot dick. It's this book. I'm Les Miles. <laughs> <laughs> I won the national championship. I'm Les Miles. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> like when he when he says it outside yeah. of Jimmy Cox character, he's like, Woo. Yeah, woo. I'm Jimmy Cox. <laughs> I only like two things. Making young men run the forty <laughs> and sucking <laughs> fat <laughs> dick. <laughs> I'm Les Miles. I like to do the impressions myself sometimes because uh, it makes me feel fun. I like to keep in touch with uh, the players and the youth of America. <coughs> I'm Les Miles. I coach the LSU football team. <laughs> I love dicks. That's just that's a Jimmy Cox thing. You have to watch the podcast. There's a, there's a point in there with like Les Miles doing Jimmy Cox as Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So. I guess that's the only, like, housekeeping things that we have for the Diamond Club. Uh, beyond that, like... <laughs> oh, Johnny Nuts. Yeah, I did slip into... It, 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 maybe that's where oh, Johnny Nuts Oh, Johnny came. Nuts. I <laughs> forgot. His cousin. <laughs> yeah. No, Johnny Nuts is a little bit more angry Southern. Yeah. Hi, I'm Johnny Nuts. And he doesn't get, he doesn't get the joke. I don't understand. I have a cousin by the name of uh, James. Les, Les Miles. <laughs> <laughs> he apparently has a lifestyle. That I don't appreciate because it clouds the judgment of my nut farm that everybody can frequent. It's a family friendly nut farm. I love nuts. I'll tell you what. I like to serve my nuts. I have a man by the name of Les Fondelay who serves them. He's like, most annoying hazard of my job is when you're looking up and you got nuts right above your head, and all of a sudden just one you just get a nut in the eye. And it's it's unpleasant. Bus, bus free. Bus, it's a nut bus and lands right in your eye. And you think, that was disrespectful. Man, I mean, what the hell? Now I got this nut in my hair. I got to go wash it out. I'm Johnny Nuts. <laughs> That's right. He also announces his name a lot. Oh, yeah. I told you, every, is there yeah. one, the gumshoe voice, maybe. Every other impression I do... Uh, Iris Sockman announces his name, Jimmy Cox announces his name, Tom Jigglesocks announces his name. <laughs> There's literally no voice. Name a voice in the chat room that I do that fucking doesn't involve the name being said at the end of it. It's what Hype Man says his name repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Um, That's true. Justin R. Young is a character that you do. Yeah, uh, very yeah I constantly say my name. <laughs> Uh, Fat Rick says his name over and over again. <laughs> Fat Rick. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, Steve McTilla tur Toodle Toodle. Yes, he repeatedly says, I'm Steve McTilla Toodle. <laughs> a black Herman Cain uh, does. Black, yeah. Hi, I'm Black Herman Cain. I just Steve wanted black. to let you know. Uh, I love being black. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm very proud of my racial heritage. And, um, I'd like to run for president well, again. I'll tell you what. Black Herman Cain here. <laughs> Black Herman Cain is the character that, like, I, I understand the least, and I think I love the most, because <laughs> it's just Herman Cain. With your with hairstyle. my hairstyle. Who talks like an old vaudevillian. Yes. Old Jewish vaudevillian. 
Um, so yeah, the Hey Mister <laughs> guy, he doesn't even have a name. I mean, that's Carney Cow. Yeah, yeah, it is Carney Cow. Now. Yeah, he doesn't say Carney Cow. He just says, uh, "Hey Mister." Um, <laughs> Anyway, Cooper, so no, the racist badger doesn't announce his name all the time. No, but Cook, they constantly the do the radio tags. Yeah, Kook of the racist badger. I guess Kook does the radio tags. And the racist. No, 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 no. The Kook is is the fucking is my voice. The racist badger because I'm always like badge, badge. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, Kook of the racist. Yeah, man, we didn't. Uh... That one really is a flush out. <laughs> no, but uh, there's something to it. We like Kook and the racist badger. We're fans um, of their work. Yeah. Okay. So. I guess there's really not much else. I, I, I guess there's a possibility now. There's like uh, a 10% chance of Brett at Dragon Con. Where wait, would you assess? Wait, there's a chance? Yeah, there's a little chance. I might, I might even give it like 35% chance. What? Uh, there's oh, been a shit. there's been a crazy turn of events that puts Mr. Uh, Amtreculus Prime in the American Southeast. Well. The day before Dragon Con starts. Well. Max Trollbot. Max Trollbot doesn't say... He doesn't announce his name. Um, yeah, well, he did in the first... And the only, the first and only full sketch that Max <laughs> Trollbot ever appeared in. He is really like the fucking Boba Fett. Of, he really of the really really <laughs> He's fucking barely appeared in anything. And yet he is, uh, like we kind of hoped and suspected, <laughs> beloved amongst a certain element of the population. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, that whole experience is amazing. Um, so anyway, uh, I wonder if, man, I wonder if somebody could get the Max Trollbot costume to, what if somebody cosplayed as Max Trollbot? It'd be crazy if we could get, yeah, oh my God, I just had an idea that I don't want to spoil. God damn it. All right. Um, man. I had a really good idea that I don't want to talk about because it'd be really funny. <laughs> Wait, what was Bladeface from? What was that? Bladeface was one of the. W was that one of the video game questions? No, or that was, was a character. No, 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 that was a weird things thing. Um, where like as soon as uh, Spiro and the Fudge happened, yeah, there was like a run of of just crazy characters. There was like a run of like GoBots, like uh, Spiro and the Fudge <laughs> and the Transformers. There was a lot of knockoff Spiro and the Fudge. Oh, that's scenarios right. Yeah, that we did. Yeah, yeah. And one of them was like, like O positive was, and bla blade face. Yeah, that's it. O positive <laughs> and yes. blade face. And then there was like Doctor Velasic. Uh, <laughs> Pinkle, he loves Pinkle. He just eats yeah. Pinkle all the time. <laughs> Oh, man, I forgot all about that. Uh, oh, okay, wait, hold on. Uh, <laughs> is saying cut the mic so I can tell you guys the idea. All right, here. Okay, now we're back. I didn't forget to cut the mic. Then tell me what the fuck I said, assholes. <laughs> Something with a big head. <laughs> he just described a big ass Iris Sockman. I swear to God, if somebody fucking rolls in with an Iris Sockman cosplay, I will literally shit on myself. <laughs> Dude, imagine how much fucking sock that would be. Like, it's just a gigantic sock. Oh, you're talking sock. about a full size? Uh, a and full... It, and then they just go, they just go, pretend I'm not here. Yeah, <laughs> and then it's like, yeah. That would be fucking amazing. Um, oh, here. Here's the other idea that I can't say. Because we could never take it back if oh, we didn't okay. want to do it. All right, go. There. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cosplay as Jerry shitting on himself seeing a cosplay <laughs> Iris Hockman. How meta am I? <laughs> he just has a beard and chocolate on his hands. It's just like... 
Um, okay. So, yeah. I think... Is there anything else we wanted to go over? Um, Diamond Club or... There's a lot of pre-planning for this. This is probably the most we've ever... Certainly the biggest footprint we'll ever have at Dragon Con. Yeah, yeah, it's man. gotten increasingly big. Uh, they sent me my schedule. i got to look at it. I, I've not even had a, uh, uh, a look at my fucking schedule. Um, yeah. I mean, I think... I know I'm doing FSL Friday. We're both on the... Um, like, the it was going to be Tech News Today. Now it's just like a tech podcast panel discussion. Sure. On Saturday. And then NSFW Sunday. Are you doing your show? Are you doing any I'm kind doing of show? I'm show. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to do a, a Scam Your Way Into Anything, Scam Sasquatch of the Supernatural Electric thing. Okay. Uh, do you know when that is? It's on the schedule. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, like Friday, yeah. Saturday. Um, well, no, Sparks and... Is that, they didn't cancel TNT? Yeah, they, they booked, did. TNT's canceled. They booked... Yeah. It's off the air. Done. It's gone forever. I has his panhandling as we speak. Yeah, he's sucking dicks underneath the train. <laughs> wow. Right to there. Yeah. He's got a hey, family. The moment the train, yeah. hey, man. dangerous. <laughs> Everyone, yeah, not Everyone... A bit, a bit, of, a, a bit of a daredevil, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi. I'm gay daredevil. I am that guy. <laughs> and it's like, he's like, he's like, today I'm, I'm going to suck a full dick <laughs> under a moving train. And then he like does like, ass. and then he does he's like, like, this is an under train dick suck. Woo! <laughs> no, I like to imagine it like it's like one of those like big build up things where it's like, let me show you how dangerous this really is. Pre packaged, like, 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 the train is moving at over 85 miles an hour. <laughs> Like the fucking, like the, the animatics, like... <laughs> chica, 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 chica. between six yeah. and nine inches. <laughs> I'm going to recruit a trained stunt dick. Yeah, he's, he's like, the average cock is six to seven to eight inches long. This one is 9.5. <laughs> Just to give you a sense of how delicate this is, if the cock moves even eight to nine inches left or right, <laughs> I could be trapped under the wheels. <laughs> These nuts dangle three inches down, and there's a good chance they will slap my chin repeatedly. If not properly tickled in the exact order. If I choke on this dick, there's a very good chance I'll be dead. Over eight billion sperm will jizz into my mouth. At which point, a full complement of fireworks will erupt from the top of the train, <laughs> signifying <laughs> that I've blown this man to completion. If you took the full amount of data encoded in the DNA that is about to end up in my stomach, it would be 9.27 gigabytes of genetic data. Anyway, uh, <laughs> TNT's not canceled. So, uh, they booked TNT at Dragon Con, not knowing that they weren't that like Twit wasn't doing a thing at Dragon Con, so they're not doing TNT. Uh, the one thing we do not know is what the capabilities are going to be for a streaming NSFW show. Yeah, we got an email from John saying um, <laughs> Rabbit Badgers. <laughs> so I guess we're not talking. No, because I started off saying that we were going to talk politics. <laughs> I even did this. <laughs> And we're not. <laughs> uh, unless it's the politics of Daredevil dick sucking. <laughs> um, oh, man, the right really doesn't like Daredevil dick sucking. <laughs> no. Well, the left Maybe they do, though. Well with the Daredevil part. Yes. <laughs> They're like, too much danger. <laughs> and the right's like, too much dick sucking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. I don't like the danger. I don't I like, like the, the dick, dick sucking. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no live view is, uh, there's no live view available. I guess whatever that loan was that for, they have. Yeah, for and God's sakes, please don't fucking go any further with this, with the dick sucking thing, <laughs> compared to the fucking person that we were talking about. I don't want that to be, I don't oh, want this no, to be oh, another, no, 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 no. I don't want this to be another Ryan Connolly where I fucking have to meet the fucking future <laughs> oh, no, 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 Mrs. Connolly. Oh, no, no, you shut that shit down right now. Yeah. That was not <laughs> and be like, edited. hey, this is the asshole who fucking is the reason why, like, you can't type Ryan Connolly without having a racist show up next to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Joko, Jesus. Um, <laughs> wow. So there's that. 
Uh, all right, so uh, TNT was canceled, and that's unfortunate. Well, no, it's not canceled. It's just they didn't know that it wasn't going to happen. So, right. like, oh, but there's there also... is going to be a tech panel with – so basically it's going to be yet another uh, – <laughs> what's it called? Uh, Belmont, Brushwood, Merritt, and Young. The podcasting firm. A podcasting yeah. firm. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you don't like fucking me, Tom, Veronica, and Brian talking to each other, then stay the fuck out of Dragon Con. We're gonna do, we're gonna do I think, uh, four or six panels together. Four to six panels that are going to be largely the same thing, fucking with different themes. We're gonna be wearing different party hats and having the same conversation. <laughs> um, so, there we go. Um, we are doing that... And then, yeah, we're trying to figure out, basically, we don't know. Dragon Con is notoriously kind of late um, with uh, figuring things out. So, like, we still don't know whether or not we're back in the Crystal Ballroom. I got to assume so. I mean, they saw. Maybe we're in the, maybe we're in uh, their main auditorium. And they're all like, the biggest show in the world. It's the shitty NSFW show. Uh <laughs> Yes, TWIF is canceled. This week in fun. Um, all right. Well, I think that's about it. TWIF Wars, yes. Uh, yeah, man. I guess I guess from here on out, we got we got more shit to figure out, but it would be awesome. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're working on it. We'll figure it out. It'll be a fun time. Um, and yeah, rock and roll, guys. Politics, 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 yeah, politics. That, politics. About, that about wraps it up for Jury Friday. Uh, <laughs> sorry, yeah, it got, it got kind of hijacked from what, what we were going to do, but it's fine. Fine. It was an important meeting of the minds. We it was. discussed, uh, I think a lot of hearts were changed. I think uh, I think we did a lot of good for the world. Number seven's not bad. We're still in the top ten. Uh, yeah. Do we want to, is there any benefit to asking, I mean, it seems like if people want to dust up a little stuff, uh, maybe on Twitter hit up like some CNN reps or you know people who look for stories for that kind of thing. Just make a lot of noise because it seems like this week would be when we would do a TV interview if, if one was going to happen because the experiment is winding down right now. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was like like last week when we got the press that we did. Yeah. Like. That was the the moment. If you want to hit them up, that's fucking rock and roll, man. I think that there is a story there. Um, you know, there's we've it, beginnings of whispers from a few different things that are beyond just the blogosphere. Uh, that I mean, we would like to talk about. I think there's some interesting stuff to talk about, but like, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what people's interest would be in 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 doing it. So we'll figure yeah. it out. Um, so there we go. Uh, two words on Paul Ryan. Um, <clears throat> if only two words. Uh, high speed dick suckery. <laughs> hyphen, 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 hyphen. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I mean, we can get into serious. I don't want to get into like. Serious you don't want to get. Into, you don't want to get a little serious on this. Well, uh, no. I mean, I don't know because I'm normally used to doing like this, where it's just like I kind of like, expound my opinion. You can do uh, that, and then me and Brett will just go. Yeah. No, I think I've had enough of me expounding my opinion uh, in front of you and Brett. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'm thinking, oh shit, man, I want to talk about that. That was uh, that was some shit last night. Yeah, I think I think I've had my fill. <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, I mean. I don't know. The Paul Ryan thing, I think, is it, it's it's more of a a Dick Cheney kind of vice presidential pick in that I don't think that like they picked that candidate George W. Bush picked Dick Cheney because they thought that he would win them the election. Mm -hmm. He thought that he would be a good person to be a vice president, which is often not the case. People pick a vice president to get into the office, right, to buy then, votes, and then kind of you know because that's what, how you'll you'll hear about this talked about is like, oh, well, they're from, you know, like Marco Rubio. Part of what the reason why, uh, you know, uh, why he was talking about was because Florida is going to be a swing state again. He could help deliver Florida. You know, part of the reason why Joe Biden was selected wasn't because Joe Biden was, uh, you know, especially going to be good in terms of governing. It was because for any people who didn't think that 
he was that Brock, the candidate, was experienced enough having a guy on the Foreign Relations Committee who's been like a lifetime guy in the Senate uh, would be good for for that. Right. Um, <clears throat> So I think that this is, you know, it's looking more, basically what you're saying if you are voting for Mitt Romney, what he is saying to you is, A, uh, the economy is incredibly fucked up and this guy is to blame, um, and B, we are going to be fearless, uh, or at least in terms of Congress, fearless in terms right. of cutting money, because as much as, like, you know, the Ryan budget was something that, like, would only put us $3.1 trillion more in debt, over the next, like, four years. Yeah, no, that thing's next... cut off, like, almost $100. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then again, like, mm -hmm. when the debate was, do we cut $2.5 or $3? Yeah. The $100 that he cut, he was fucking on Mars right. in terms of how much he wanted to cut and the kind of sacred cows that he was willing to slaughter to do it, including Medicaid and, and Medicare, uh, which is what they'll get attacked on. But I think there's a popul there's a part of the the base that was not super excited about Romney that will now be more excited in that they, you know, would be more reassured that he's not just like, oh, well, I'm going to cut shit, I'm going to cut shit, I'm going to cut shit, and then he gets into office and nothing fucking happens. That right. There seems to be somebody who is trying to cut shit, you know, and put a budget forth to cut shit before, and so now that would be more likely as opposed to less likely. Uh, you know, my, what we heard this week was the whole David Petraeus thing, which would have been the biggest, most significant, uh, I think, move in American politics that I've seen in my lifetime. Now, why, can make why is that? Give me a context for it. <clears throat> Never before has anybody at that high of a level in a sitting administration fucking, like, switch sides. And, like, you can't do that. It's like uh, David Petraeus is the head of the CIA. He's head of CIA, so former right now, head of defense. So essentially, like, right now he's working for Barack Obama. He is under yes. Barack Obama's command. And it would be him while at that job campaigning to... Or you leaving. You would have to resign. Yeah, okay. Uh, so you resign, and basically you can't just resign and say, like, oh, I don't know. I mean, he's a nice guy. I just wanted a different opportunity. Like, you can't do that. You have to resign and say, I felt the call to serve right. because this guy is a fucking clown. Right. And he's losing American <clears throat> lives, and the, the administration is supremely broken, and I can now talk from that perspective, which would have been incendiary. It would have... Like, there's a reason why it didn't happen, and you don't see it happen, and it was crazy that it was even talked about. Right. Uh, but that move would have been completely insane. Uh, you know, and then the other people that I kind of liked as a uh, possible vice president pick, I thought everybody was kind of boring, including Paul Ryan to a certain extent. Um, but I thought Condoleezza Rice, it would have been interesting if she wanted to go into politics, because I think she's a very unique figure in terms of how people look at her. Um, mm -hmm. She is a well-liked figure, and... Uh, it would be very interesting to see her in a debate with fucking Joe Biden, who I think is kind of a bit of a buffoon. Uh, as much as he is also a Syracuse graduate. <laughs> so there we go. That's right the on. politics talk. There you go. Politics, politics, politics. That's, uh, can we get back to the undertrained dick sucking? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, hi, I'm 12. What's politics? I don't know. First, let me explain undertrained dick sucking. Uh, and then, you know, so, all right, so people were like, yeah, I guess Mitt Romney fucked up uh, during the uh, during the announcement and announced uh, Paul Ryan as the next president. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that was, that was, that was kind of funny. <laughs> and he said, he was like, like, well, like, you know, I, I, uh, during this campaign, I will make mistakes, but I didn't make a mistake on that guy. Here's fucking Paul Ryan. He's going to be vice president, though. Seriously, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to be vice president. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Ryan also Maybe. did a uh, a fairly mediocre job on Fantastic Four in the '90s. Yes. Oh yeah. No, that's a good point. Um. So yeah. There we right go. On. All right, guys. Well, that about wraps it up for this edition of fucking everybody piles into my room and yells at my computer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week. Okay, so there's a fan-made fucking Diamond Club audiobook. Oh, shit, son! This is amazing! Jackie Hearn. <clears throat> this is 
unreal. You, you, can, can you play the, the part that we... Oh, my God. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Um, I want so much to make this into a real audiobook on Audible. Just for the completeness of the story. Alright, I can't really hear it. Uh... Okay, so I'm going to put this in the in the chat room. Uh, it's amazing, and uh, oh shit, that's not that. That was the fucking thing. Boop 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 boop. Jackie Hearn, uh, who which is a, a, a pseudonym, a nom de plume, right? Not unlike Patricia Harkins Bradley nom herself. Talkie talkie. Um, <laughs> but uh. But yeah, no, she actually reached out. Did you did you get the Facebook message from her? I did not. She said that she Facebooked me and you, but she she has communicated to us, uh, you know, how much she's excited about it and wants again to keep her anonymity All right. as much as possible. So Jackie Hearn. This is amazing. Uh, it's fucking pretty good. It's amazing. It's pretty fucking good. And yeah. like, there is like, I mean, you could kind of stroke to it. Like, I'm not saying <laughs> you could totally stroke to it. Like, kinda. <laughs> Uh, Three-Legged Larry. Listening to her read Three-Legged Larry last <laughs> night was... We did. We went right to the money. A life-changing life moment. Larry. Uh, so, there we go. I know what I'm listening to at work at full volume on my speaker. <laughs> <laughs> Good move, guys. Yeah, man. Actually, I think I'll get to finally read the book now. Yes. It'll be an audiobook. Audiobook for it. Yeah. All right, guys. Politics! 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 No, Mel. That's not what we talked about. We talked about everything but. Mm -hmm. Bye.